my bad B. They stay looking, but these brothers can't have me. They call me Lani Good. Hi, hi guys. Hi. Oh my god. It's been so it's been ages. It's been so long. I didn't I was um this wasn't exactly the plan. Um but I'm gonna go off my emotions. I just feel like my I always go off my gut and I just feel like this would be a little interesting video. So I just wanna say I'm really sorry that I've been off YouTube. I wanna say for my returning subscribers, you know what, SVU Heavy, I love you all so much. I'm so sorry I haven't been on YouTube. I've actually been trying to do bigger and better things. I don't wanna, don't get me wrong, I'll never ever stop doing YouTube because I, I think it's kinda cute to like share your life with people and bond with people because most importantly, it's not like you're just watching me. Like I actually read comments, like I follow some subscribers on Instagram and, and, and Snapchat and you get you get to bond with people. So it's like, I don't know, it's like you kinda like low key building your own family. But I want to obviously elevate and stuff. So I've been trying to um, open different doors for me. Anyway, you'll see all of that soon. With, unless it flops. Like, you never know. You know, you, know, you don't know in life. But um, also just wish me good luck and pray. Because after this video, I'm going to audition for a show. That um, I feel like if I get on, you guys will thoroughly enjoy Lani. <laughs> but anyway, moving forward. And I'm just going to treat this video as if... Some of you, I'm, I'm not sure all of you keep up to date with everything that goes on in my life. Of course you don't. Do you understand that? Like you have your own lives to live. So I'm just going to keep you... Um, I'm just going to catch you up and tell you why this video is happening. Because I need to explain. Because you're going to think, what the F? Did you get it? Now, before y'all think I'm obsessed and I'm crazy, and I don't really give a fuck that people think that. I don't care. But before y'all start think, saying, oh, yeah, you're obsessed, you're crazy. Number one, yeah? A week ago, about a week ago, about a week ago, um, my favourite op in the whole wide world decided to drop a video. Um, and when he dropped this music video, he also released... Um, his album, his debut album, which is a huge deal for any, obviously, artist. Huge deal. A huge milestone. But yeah, he, um, when he did this, on his debut um, album, he released a song with David O. And this song was obviously, I don't know how it works, so forgive me for the technicalities. But I'm, I'm just going to guess that when you release your album if you release a song with it that's the way to do it professionally because little nas x did the same thing so i guess that's the thing i didn't know this but it's not a coincidence that they both did it but cool so you do it and i guess it creates a buzz around your album a buzz around the songs whatever anyway he released a music video with david o and um your girl got a little indirect. Okay, I'm, I want. I'll, let me let me not say little because when I say little, I feel like I'm discrediting the indirect. It wasn't little. It was actually quite ginormous, and I actually feel like um, I feel like he thought he really did something. Um, I personally, I mean, it just it depends on your opinion. You know what I mean? I can see why he would think he really did something offensive. I don't know, it's just, it's just, it's, an, it's a subjective type of situation. Um, I know some people would be really upset at what he did to me, but we're all individuals, so there's different things that trigger us and different things that bother us. So, but we're going to get into that. We're, we're going to get into that. So, but anyway, so what I'm going to do, oh, and then number two, number two, before we get on with this video, because I don't want to ramble for too long. Number two, um, a lot of people, a lot of people, yeah, a lot, a lot of people keep coming and DMing me, telling me to listen to the realest one. Now, this is an album track, right? Now, I briefly listened to it, briefly, um, but... Even before I listened to it, I knew it wasn't going to be about me. Um, so I'm going to break down the lyrics for you. Right here, right now, after we, um, I react to the dig in the um, David Doe music video, I'm going to um, go back and look at the realest one and then look at that and, and just tell you... We're gonna, I'm going to go through like the wording and explain to you why I think it's not about me. However, but I will say why I, I can see... 
why people would interpret it well why people would think it's about me but obviously i have to go with my own gut and i don't I'm not a fan i don't think i just know it's not about me but we're gonna get into that so let's start the video now for copyright purposes unfortunately i can't play the song you know you know i, I need a little change of the video of this video so i can't play the song however i'm gonna put like just like a basic um afro beats beat in the background a uk beat in the background song is on 1.6 million it came out almost two weeks ago it's doing all right um you have to remember this is his first song on his i might be wrong i don't i don't stalk the guy but i feel like this is his first song on his um channel sorry what's it um and when i say that i don't mean when like obviously he might have i'm not sure but he might have dropped music on this channel maybe before like back in the day before he blew when he was just a regular schmegula and nine boy but so yeah so if i'm i might be mistaken but I, I i i do believe that this is his first song on his channel even if it isn't i don't give i don't give a fuck like i'm not this is not like you know a documentary about tion wayne so yeah let's um let's listen so i'm gonna put the volume really low like i said i can't let's listen to it i feel like if i'm wrong or right the song um in terms of trending when it was released the highest it ever went was like number i think it was eight or seven and i know it sounds really pathetic that i know that but the reason i know that is because low-key i want a little nasty beat him however <laughs> that sounds really bad mind um that sounds so bad mind how can i say that i have my reasons i have my reasons i just feel like he needs to do right by me before he gets number one so you get it so anyway let's go let's listen to this okay so um something i want to say because i know this is not a reaction to the song but on the video but I just, obviously i'm watching it so i might as well give my two pence um the video is very lavish very expensive opulent oh my god opulence money i don't think he's um you know he didn't cut costs with this video he he went in um something i want to say about tion is like he's very very as much as like he shows a very like because obviously he does drill or his his drill songs are they're the most popular so a lot of people would see him a bit like people who are not like overly into him will see him a bit like his hood but he actually has a very very like um sophisticated side i don't know if it's a wannabe sophisticated side um like i, I, I don't know that sounds rude I, that sounds rude because at the end of the day anybody can want to you know live a live a life where they you know they at the end of the day the way you represent yourself in life is a choice right you can be ratchet you can be classy that's up to you you choose the hat you want to wear and you that's what you present so i feel like a big hat that he wants to present to the world is this sort of like polished guy like from um i'm gonna tell you like a, li a very 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 short story but um one time i was gonna help him with his um he wanted to make like a some sort of fashion merch type of brand this is back in the day and um, because obviously everyone knows that i'm very very creative like not everyone knows but my, my supporters know i'm creative i do graphics fashion or you name it i can do it but basically i was going to help him create the stuff and where i worked there was a machine that you could make t-shirts on so i thought we can cut costs i can do it for you um, I even created a PDF for him. Oh my god, I used to, I love this boy way too much. I created a PDF showing him where we could get the t-shirts from and different logos we could print on and, and different ways. I remember I even did research because there's different types of um there's different types of ways to embed to Im, to embed a logo onto onto a garment. So you could like you can do it like um obviously you can do it threaded, you can do print screen printing. There's different there's, there's obviously different different uh, methods, right? So I showed him all of that in the PDF, everything. 
And then I just said to him, the one thing he needs to like, obviously come with is he needs to come with the money, obviously, cause I'm not paying for it. And then I, he needs to also come with the, um, the name. Like, and then I could come up with loads of designs cause I do graphics. I could have done a free logo for him, um, source the t-shirts or the hats and all the hoodies, la 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 la. Um, order them to my house then um, he could come look at them we could have all the samples come to my house check the that he liked how thick they were that the quality was quite good then we could I could have got got it cracking anyway I remember when we were planning this um, he, I said to him that I wanted it to be I think um, he should go street and he wanted to go I, I remember him saying he wanted to call it lavish something and I was just like why don't you just do it street and he was just like no I don't want to re be represented as a street guy like he more time wants to be seen like I think he wants to be seen like a mini Jay-Z so I, that, there you go I just want to let you know that this is a bit of him whether it, he's begging it or not that's up to you but he definitely spent peas on this video but yeah let's let's listen there's an advert. Can you believe that I am paying to watch this? I've contributed. I've actually contributed. I've contributed financially to his pockets. I feel like someone needs, he needs to run me. If he's got, even if he's got one pence off this, he needs to run me the one pence. I'm adding it. It's now eight grand and one P. How dare you make money off me watching? Okay, so like we said, I'm gonna, res obviously I'm going to react to this, but the main reason we're here is to see how I feel about the indirect towards me. So I just wanna say that, um, um, Tion looks nice in his black suit. And if you look closely, it's all got like the Gucci print on it. It's nice, it's a nice look. Do you know what like not that my opinion matters but um in case he he pre's this can you low like it's too much beard like it's just it's too much beard right can you just yeah all right let's continue <laughs> Okay, so I remember someone saying, this is someone said to me, that the fact that he said that his thing in Tottenham wants to F with the whatever is a little bit of a dig at um, OFB, I guess, because they hate each other and they're from Tottenham and he, like, you know what I mean? Like, he's got a thing in Tottenham and he's going to see her. I just want to say that if that's a dig, I just, I think it's just, it's just, I, just, I don't know. I just feel like he's, he's too subtle for me. Like I just, I feel like would be more entertained if he just said more blatantly cheeky stuff. Like I remember when Abracadabra done his, and I'm pretty sure Abracadabra said that he doesn't f with things from the nines, the nine. But then he said that he might try if they slide. I loved it. I just loved it. It was so cheeky because it was so obvious. Like, why don't you f with things from the nine? We all know why. So I don't know. I just feel like um, I just wish like um, I wish he was just more, just a little bit, just a little bit cheekier when he talks about his ops. Just a little bit, not a lot. Just a little bit. Just like. It's just giving too much gr you're not you're, you're not this you're not this nice in real life you're actually a bastard so show it in your music people love toxicity anyway so him and his girlfriend are in edmonton wearing his merch cute merch um i just want to say absolutely this prada jacket <sighs> This Prada jacket is sexy. I'm not gonna lie to you. I can't. I have to keep it uh, 100. Is I've never seen this. I've never seen this chain. Like, is do you want my opinion on this chain? No, you don't want my opinion on this chain. Nobody asked. But I'm gonna give it to you anyway. I just feel like your chain, although simple and although simple is classy, I feel like your chain is just not. I feel like you could have gone a bit more creative, darling. But we can. Let's let's. 
whatever. It's just a big, big square piece of shininess. I mean, do you know whose chain I really do like? Moolah Juice's chain is really creative. Just something a bit different, babe. It's just, it's, what is, it's class, I guess class, isn't it? And you know what's cute? That all his Edmonton boys are behind him, supporting him in the video. I guess that's cute. But I've heard really horrible things about Edmonton boys, so let me not, um, let me stop talking about him. But it, it is cute for the, you know his friends to be there. Um, I'm gonna give the song a solid um, seven out of ten. Personally, it's better than I thought. It's way better than I thought. I thought it was shit. Um, I, I don't know why. I just thought it was because I thought that the I thought like the views could have been grown faster but then at the same time I'm, I wasn't taking into account that it's his first time on his own channel um, it's not drill so you know everyone loves a bit of drill so I think it's a good song I just I also but I just feel like for the launch of your um, first um, album I do I do feel like you could have picked something more upbeat but that's just my opinion you know that's just my opinion I just feel you should have gone something a bit high, high beat uh, high high energy upbeat and high energy but what do I know? Oh, a helicopter. Oh, come on. He didn't. He, he, he didn't. Oh, my God. This is my indirect. He didn't, um, he didn't, um, hold back on the, on the cost. Now, guys, let's. His girlfriend is very pretty. I don't think she's his real girlfriend, but what do I know? From what I know about Tion, he likes to keep his girls, um, behind the scenes. Like, wait, he's kissing her hand, so he's bought her the watch. Where is it? When does he talk about, when does he indirect me? This beard is too much. Not that it, my opinion matters, but can you just trim it a bit down? Okay, so we've seen a close-up of the watches. We've seen a close-up of the watches. Right. <laughs> So, um, what I'm assuming, obviously, like, duh, what I'm assuming has happened here is, um, um, he's obviously gone to buy his missus a watch, and, um, he doesn't want to buy her a cheap watch. This is what I'm getting from this. So, the jeweler shows him a watch. It might be a, a, a nice watch to look at because they obviously looked at the watch. So, it might have looked nice. Maybe the girl wanted it and then it was only eight grand. And then he's like, no, 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 no. Um, like, pff, eight grand for a watch. Like, that's peanuts. I want to spoil her. And then, obviously, there's another watch and the real price is there and the real price is 115 grand so that's the dig so now we're gonna pause this and we're gonna talk about this dig right now first of all if that's your way to try and like dig at me you know i just feel like it's a bit shit it wasn't awful you tried but you could have done better um I get what he was doing, but he's being very, very like. I just, I don't, I don't know. I just, I, I, I I'm trying to get my words out, but I don't know what I want to say. I feel like you guys need to help me, me in the comment section. In the, help me in the comment section. Um. Okay, so Tion is basically trying to say like, right now in his life, he's very up. He's got a lot of money. He's got a lot of bread. So to be honest with you, eight grand is nothing. The way he shakes his head, like I, I don't want to buy my missus an eight grand watch. Eight grand is actually nothing. You know, he's he's got eight grand for days. So he's basically letting us all know that if he wanted to pay me back, he would have been done that. But he don't want to. Period. All right. He doesn't want to pay me back. Um, and then the one one five. It's just to show like man's got bread like he can he can spend 10 times is eight grand even 10 no it's like almost 11 12 times that amount he's showing that i can afford to be honest not that he would but he's basically saying if i wanted to i could afford to give lani 10 11 12 times that money but i'm not going to okay maybe because i'm not a real one i, I don't really know the reason but 
um, he's just trying to show us he's got bread. He's not going to pay me back. He doesn't want to. And that's on period. And I'm going to have to get over it. Um, when I first saw that, I was kind of pissed off because I just thought, oh, he's so petty. Um, but I was more irritated. I wouldn't say I was deeply... It wasn't like a bang. Have you seen that TikTok where you get like, um, you take a bullet. Like, it's like bang, bang. I, it, I, I just, it wasn't... Ugh, it just didn't... It just didn't hit deep and i feel like that's because like he's making it quite trivial like you have to understand that i don't actually not that i don't need it don't get me wrong eight grand would help me like i said i'm, I'm i need to completely furnish my apartment um and i know some of you are gonna be ugh, probably gonna be negative but um certain people in my family had a very very hard hard time in the pandemic and i had to look after them so my apartment has been the least of my worries but yes, eight grand would really help me furnish my apartment. However, um, I could live without the money. It's, it's not about the money. Something that, I don't know if I wanna say he doesn't get it or, or I'm, I'm not really sure what I wanna use, but something he needs to understand, something he needs to understand is that, um, like, this is more than money. Like, I like, I just, I just, are you stupid? Are you thick? Like, this is more than money. Like, you literally violated somebody that would have died for you. Like, I don't understand how you don't get that it's deeper than the money. Also, something I need to express to you, because I don't think you understand this, right? Is that um, I actually told him when it was over that I hope he never hurts another woman the way he hurts me. Um, if he bought a girl uh, a, a watch worth 115 grand or two, half a million or quarter million, um, I would be happy for the girl. Not because I don't, I, I don't know, like it's, it's a watch, but not because she's got a watch. I just, I, I don't like to see women being treated horribly i don't like the fact that in society men have the upper hand men decide when they're gonna wife for you men decide when they're gonna propose to you um men have to be like you know are you a good girl what's your body count can you cook for me it's like men have the upper hand and i don't really like that i like to see women treated like princesses so to, to be honest with you um uh, it kind of melts my heart and makes me happy to see him treat a woman good and treat a woman like a princess. I know a lot of girls that have cried over him. And I just want him to treat a girl like a princess and see her worth. So if, um, he's missing the point. Um, I don't care that he can afford... So, so maybe it's not about the girl. But I would never ever hate on a female being treated good. That would make me feel happy. I want women to be treated well. And I want more representation in society that it's actually cool to have a wife and, and, and be a loving husband or a loving partner rather than having loads of side chicks and just being a player because i feel like that image has been portrayed a lot on a lot on on tv youtube i just that in, in music where someone's just a player so i don't want um that to just continue i actually want positive images of men loving women um so i don't care about that but i really <sighs> i feel offended that he did that to me obviously also come to find that he didn't really treat as many women as bad as he treated me so i feel offended i feel i feel offended i don't know if i want to say i feel disappointed because i've already i've been feeling like this like this is normal to me now it's my new norm like i know he didn't rape me like well, there's nothing i can change about it I feel like if he wants to, wanted to hurt me though, because I've had many questions about why he treated me that way and what I did to deserve that. So I feel like if maybe he called me, maybe if he explained that he never rated me or he didn't think I was good enough, I feel like that stuff would hurt more. It's not that I want to hear that type of stuff because it's horrible, but I feel like that's where my insecurities lied for a long time. Like, why did you do me dirty? But um, yeah, it's whatever. It's whatever, whatever, man. Oh, it's fucking just stupid. But, um, I feel like you tried. Um, also, something I've noticed is that a lot of people want it, I want me and his story not to end on beef. A lot of people want us to either make up and be friends 
or make up and literally get married. I've seen a lot of people write that we're soulmates and we should get back together. And as much as it would be entertaining, it would be, it would, I'm not even gonna cap to you, it would be the most entertaining thing ever. Like it'd be so entertaining, especially because I'm, I'm not really a shy person, I'm quite vocal and I would probably be on live arguing with him and I can, I can understand why people would just want to be nosy and where I'm a YouTuber and I'm, I'm, I'm transparent, trans, transparent, I can't speak. I understand why people would want us to um, give it another go. However, I just don't believe in struggle love. I don't. I don't believe in struggle love and neither should you. I don't think it's okay for you to have to suffer, bleed, cry, go through fucking trials and tribulations to fucking win love no bro um if that means i'm gonna be alone forever so be it but i don't i just feel like if someone takes the piss out of you a few times like like it just needs to be it just needs to be done i mean the person's gonna have to bleed they put the only way you give that person a second chance is they're gonna have to bleed for you but no i don't believe in struggle love i don't I actually believe that love should just be like somewhat easy don't get me wrong everyone argues but i'm talking about struggle love i'm not talking about little arguments i'm talking about struggle love like being suicidal over a guy or a girl i don't believe in that no that's not love it shouldn't hurt that much do you get it the person shouldn't do you so dirty and then see that you still love them and then, then yeah you're worthy of a ring no i don't believe in struggle love so no thank you guys but anyway moving on uh, i'm going to talk about the realest one we've moved on from that video um <clears throat> now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go for the lyrics because i can't play this one Tion wayne realest one the song is present tense number one this person he's singing about is somebody either when I say current, I mean current, like current, current, like he's, they're dating now or they just broke up recently. That's what I believe. And when I say recently, I mean in the last six months. So that's the first sign it's not about me, but thanks guys. Um, I know that hurt you, cool. He probably hurt a hundred girls, but you know, cool. And then you read jail you read jail time you read the curfew this is the number one sign it's not about me now let me explain why um so when i was seeing him he went to jail about three um about three three times right and um they were all short they were all like i think the most he did was like a month um so he i didn't ride jail time a month i don't think like no the longest period of time that my man went jail for is about eight months <gasps> and the reason i know this is because it was straight after we ended and i tried to visit him and i wrote him and i wrote him and i wrote him and he aired me and he only ever responded once because he rang me it was just a random day and he decided to ring me it was so um it was just weird because he rang me and all he just said I, I wanted to hear your voice and then he never called me again he never called me again it's fucking weird uh, he called me again when he came out of jail and he wanted to um have sex but yeah whatever man i believe okay god like i really don't want to tell this story but it's gonna make sense i believe this song is about the girl so when I, when he wanted to have sex with me, he gave me a location to go to, to go link him at, and it wasn't in Enfield or Edmonton or nothing. It was actually like a bit central. So I drove not central central, but like West London or something like that. So I went to London to meet him, and then he wanted to f in his Range Rover, and I thought, why can't we just go upstairs? Because he came downstairs from an apartment, and I was like, why can't we just go upstairs? And he was just like, no, we can't. Like, let's just do it here. And I was just like, why are you worried I'm going to stalk you? You don't have to worry that I'm going to stalk you. Like, I'm not going to stalk you. And then he was just like, oh, you're crazy, Lani. Like, I know, like, even if I blindfold you, you find with it, you'll find the, um, the AP. And you have to remember, at this point, we're not, we're not together. So in my head, it makes sense that he, he, he wants to keep the crazy away so he can bring other girls. 
But what I didn't put two and two together is that he was in a committed relationship with a female. So I actually believe that the, his girlfriend was upstairs whilst I, he was trying to F me downstairs in the Range Rover. I might be wrong. He might have been staying with his best friend or his brother, who knows? Um, so I might, I might be wrong. He, um, he might have just not wanted me to know the atty of where he was staying at the moment because I might have pulled up there and he might have been with girls and then I'm obviously we all know that I'm colourful, I'm a crazy person. So I might have just started crying and, and, and just trying to punch him. Who knows, innit? Like, but I feel like I don't know, but I feel like there was a girl. And it was so bad that I needed the toilet and I had to go into some random corner shop to use the toilet. He wouldn't let me up. I was so pissed off with him. Um Yeah, anyway whatever so um also um when me and him broke up there was another girl that told me she had been in a relationship with him for a year a very beautiful girl by the way um she's light-skinned and he i know for a fact that he went when he you know when he went to dubai and he was fighting he was fighting um heady one on the plane um she was on the trip with him so i believe this song is about her so she so you have to remember that those eight months when he was in jail he we didn't speak i tried to speak to him but he he just didn't speak to me except that one random phone call i got so th that bar is a you read the jail time i feel like he's talking about her i might be wrong but i feel like it's about her also i want to say something guys he's not exactly the most monogamous monogamous person and he's a very relationship type guy like he will cuff you or make you feel like you're the one for him but he's not monogamous so he'll see more than one girl at a time so i just feel like these bars can fit many girls at the same time my genuine feeling is that this song fits the shoe of two to three girls genuinely you think one female was waiting for him whilst he was in jail it's impossible it must have at least been two or three and then i know i know that hurt you how many girls have you hurt how many girls have you hurt a hundred 50 80 i've spoken to 20 women who have like broken down on the phone saying he's done this and that and they're in love with him so how many girls has he hurt it's not just me guys he's hurt other girls there are other girls that wait waited for him when he went jail but i believe it's her and possibly another female but no not me however um i mean i don't know you have to ask my man you never like i doubt it but I feel like this is a love letter to more than one female. That's just my personal opinion. So if this love letter is to 50 girls, maybe then I'm one of the 50. However, I believe it's about two to three girls and I don't think I'm included in that because like I said, I didn't do the jail time curfew thing. Okay, cool. Mm. And then he says, all these hoes, man, it ain't the same. Doesn't feel right, what's their aim? You know what their aim is, so shut up, man. You talk so much shit. You was there before the money and the fame. That's the only one that's about me. It's, the song's still not about me though. Um, I can't trust you, you can't trust me. Pfft. When I had you, man, I hit the lottery. He would never say that about me. <laughs> Come on, guys. Why would you guys, you guys are milking it. Of course he would never say this about me. Um, maybe one day you will unblock me. This is not about me. It's not about me. Um, Tion blocked me first, back in the day. I've been blocked for like five years. So I wasn't allowed, when we were seeing each other, I wasn't allowed to look at his socials because I used to complain a lot, which was actually really immature on my part, to be honest. I took no girls to the next country, but I still cheated and you still loved me. Oh, fuck off. I can't even, I can't even i can't even get into that bar the one about the country taking another girl to a country this this song is definitely about the lighty i promise you i know it is let me tell you something i don't even want to get into their business i'm not even trying to ruin a happy home but i know what i've literally spoken to a girl you took abroad like you did take other girls to another country yes you did don't lie anyway what cap you're still lying even in your apology why would you lie in your apology unless the girl that i spoke to is lying and i know she's not um anyway guys 
<laughs> um i hope you enjoyed my analysis that was a very long analysis jesus hope you enjoyed my analysis of um uh, on tion i want to say guys i have my own projects coming along i've got my own music coming along i'm going to respond to him or express how i feel in my music one thing i haven't done and i realized it today when i was working is i actually haven't done like a vulnerable song oh, I thought, what the f so that's something i want to add to the list but like so far i think i have 11 songs can you believe it i have 11 songs um i have 11 songs and i feel like um once me and my management decided that once we have 18 we're going to decide the order <laughs> so i'm really excited my next video that i'm going to drop i think i'm going to drop me trying to learn my dance routine it's just fun for you guys to be on the journey with me but i love you guys so much thanks for watching um until next time They call me Lonnie Good, good, but I'm a bad bee. They stay looking, but these brothers can't have me. They call me Lonnie.